are there any plugins that will allow you to match two different microphones tones and you say two different microphones recorded at two different times well there is and i have made a sample an example of this i use logic pro 10 logic pro x i do not know if this is a plugin that's available and ev in every daw digital audio workstation but i will demonstrate that now as I state in this coming sample, if you are just listening to the audio version of this show, please go to bandrewsays.com or youtube.com slash podcast and watch the video for this because it is going to be very visually based. I try to describe what I am doing, but it's always going to be more helpful when we're demonstrating plugins if you see the visual aspect of the plugin as well. Let's go to that sample right now. Okay, in order to test this out, I am recording two microphones simultaneously. They have quite different sounds, the new Audio-Technica AT2040 and the Neumann KMS-104. And I will just drop both of these audio files into Logic Pro 10 and show you how I would match the audio from both microphones. If you are just listening to the audio version of this podcast, I highly recommend going to bandrewsays.com. I will have video of this entire process, and hopefully it will help. For this example, I am using Logic Pro 10, which is my default DAW digital audio workstation, and they just so happen to have a plugin called Match EQ. I will go ahead and add this plugin to both channels. I have the Audio Technica AT2040 and the Neumann KMS105. I'll go ahead and add those now. Now I'll open up Match EQ on my Audio Technica recording. I will go ahead and select Learn and play through this entire audio file so this plugin can learn the sound profile of this microphone. Okay, in order to test this out, I am recording two microphones simultaneously. I have just finished playing the audio. I will unclick learn. And here is our EQ curve for the AT2040. Then I will close that down. I will go ahead and open up the Match EQ plugin for the Neumann KMS-105. And in reference, I will select the reference section, click learn, do the same thing. I'll go ahead and play all the way through this. Okay, in order to test this out, I am recording two microphones simultaneously. I will now unclick learn. And here is our EQ profile for the Neumann microphone. In the reference section, there is a gear icon. It allows us to copy the reference spectrum. We're going to go ahead and do that. Then we will go ahead and open up Match EQ on our Audio Technica AT2040 again. We will select the Reference tab, click the gear icon, and paste the reference spectrum. And this is going to take the EQ from the Audio Technica AT2040 and match it to the Neumann KMS105. Now I will click on the EQ curve section and click match. And it shows you the how they are altering the EQ of the Audio-Technica microphone to recreate the Neumann KMS-105. I'll go ahead and play the Audio-Technica mic with and without that plugin engaged. Okay, in order to test this out, I am recording two microphones simultaneously. They have quite different sounds, the new Audio-Technica AT2040 and the Neumann KMS-104. And I will just drop both of these audio files into Logic Pro 10 and show you how I would match the audio from both microphones. And you could hear how different it sounds. It's cutting quite a bit between 2 and 5K and boosting quite a lot above 10K. And it's also adding quite a bit between 50 and 1 kilohertz as well. Now I will go ahead and leave that plugin engaged and we will switch back and forth between the Audio Technica with the EQ engaged and the Neumann microphone so you can see how close it gets. Okay, in order to test this out, I am recording two microphones simultaneously. They have quite different sounds, the new Audio-Technica AT2040 and the Neumann KMS-104. 
And I will just drop both of these audio files into Logic Pro 10 and show you how I would match the audio from both microphones. And there you go, that is how I would do it. I am not 100% certain if there are match EQ plugins available for everything, but in Logic Pro 10, it has that, and that's what I would use. I imagine there are similar plugins in pretty much every single DAW, and you could tell it doesn't get it exactly the same, but it gets it close enough where you might be able to get away with dumping an audio file in that you recorded later to match the original recording.